Well, we all know that Donald Trump is certainly not afraid to speak his mind. Now, when he's under oath giving testimony, apparently it's the same story. If you saw the Times story, you know where I'm going with this. The Donald poured through hundreds, I should say the Times did, pouring through hundreds of pages of testimony from Trump lawsuits, and it's uncovered some doozies. During a deposition for a suit over a failed Florida real estate project, Trump told the opposing lawyer her questions were, quote, very stupid. He also said, you're disgusting when she said she had to take a break to pump breast milk and took out the pump to prove it. And he asked her, do you even know what you're doing after she asked a question? Times also says Trump admitted he exaggerated the values of his properties, how much he was getting to make speeches and other financial information. Shocking. Now, my question for the table is, should this stuff remain sealed? And if it isn't, what more could come pouring how, how, out how here? How different are these comments from the stuff Christie says? Honestly, is it really any well, different? Well, just first give me the, the ABCs of you're in a deposition. Yeah. Does that stuff say sealed and should it? Well, it, it's, it should say sealed if they have a confidentiality right. agreement. It all depends on upon how the parties contracted it. But apparently, whatever confidentiality agreement existed didn't cover the reporter that initially leaked this stuff. So, I mean, is it a surprise with a rich, powerful person, a litigious man who's got more money than God, to uh, degrade and debase everybody around him in a deposition well, and show respect I, I, I for the rule of law? I would say yes, and you guys can tell me no. No, it would that, be surprising if he didn't who's act been, like a buffoon. Well, anybody who's had to go through a depot, and I have too, the first thing the attorney tells you is yes or no, and if you don't know the answer, don't say you know the answer or opine on this. Don't volunteer any information. <laughs> and then secondly, they tell you you're going to feel stupid at a certain point because you're going to want to expound, resist the urge, and no, only going to get you in trouble. Did you hear what advice. Trump's lawyer yeah. just said? We're going to get to that in a second. I'm just saying, saying that. I don't yeah. know that that lawyer that is telling Trump anything like he that. That wasn't in He pulled the guy aside uh, and said this, but uh, yeah. Exactly. If you're it, Donald it, Trump, you're not listening you're not to listening. any of that. And also think about how much Donald Trump is paying the lawyers. Are there a lot of clients as stupid as that in a depot? Well, what, not which, many. Right. Not many. But I don't there know are about some that. Why do you think there are so many stupid? rich? It's not. Um, there are many rich, arrogant civil litigants who act the exact same. Was way. telling a pregnant woman she's disgusting Listen, was doing a depot. I don't know what she was doing. You know, she could have been saying things about him. You're taking his. Yeah, this guy's a smart guy. There's no guy. upside to say that. Well, listen. He people have say to worry things about all it. the time that they kind of wish they could take back afterwards. I he's in a deposition. No, 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 not except He's a one. smart guy. You know, everybody's <laughs> kind of laughing at him, but he's a smart well, guy. Well, you're well, well, okay. Let me get to the next doozy, okay? And Jimmy He is a smart this. guy because we're talking about this idiocy instead of what's guy. really going on. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. All right, now to the second Trump it's controversy. True. Yes, he waited until the B block to do it. All right, but the Donald's people, they're new to it, not too happy about this Daily Beast article uh, that says his former wife, Ivana, accused him of rape. Now, by the way, they're reporting what she said. I'm not saying it's true or not, but she was the words who said it. The Daily Beast reported it. Michael Cohen, one of the Trump Organization's top attorneys. He threatened the reporter who wrote the story and Cohen said the following, and I gotta be careful as I say this so I don't get in trouble. You write a story that has Mr. Trump's name in it with the word rape and I'm gonna mess with your life. Mess your life Mess up. Mess your life up, thank you very much. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. Tread very <laughs> effing lightly because what I'm gonna do to you is gonna be effing disgusting. Uh, now, I can't believe this, but Trump distanced himself from the comments, and Cohen later apologized. Uh, my point is, big boy Jimmy, does this stuff happen all the time, one attorney or the other, or uh, is this going in a different area where you're going to threaten to do disgusting things to other attorneys and uh, F their lives up? This is hanging around with your client just a little too much and <laughs> getting That's a little true. bit too much of that bravado because, no. No, it's it's it's. And there was more. Believe me, I could have read. Well, it, unless yeah. you're Michael Grimm, I mean, it's the same thing. That's yeah. right. It's, it's the same thing that happened. Well, you're threatening it's not. somebody. Not, you know, I, I never. Mayo a, would never say something. And it's a, a problem. Yes. It's a problem. But that's why Mayo's not running for president. When you can't help yourself but become like your client. Is that a danger sometimes where you're around your client so much and you take on, because you're representing your client. Uh, we've seen this with some attorneys who represent uh, mob guys. figures yep. and stuff, mm -hmm. right? They, they think they're, uh, you know, almost phony wise off. guys. Well, yeah. they forget what they're there for. And as attorneys, we're there to give guidance to our clients. And we're not but there Donald to Trump follow the client's lead. But Donald Trump isn't going to be guided. Lead. That's the point. Well, but again, as a good attorney, uh, you're supposed to be the advisor there. You're supposed to bring him back to a place that's safe, not only, not only for him, but a place you're comfortable being because ultimately 
ultimately you have the ethics board you got to answer to as yep. well. Not look at the analogy. I, like I was just, you know, you look at Mark Dreyer. Mark Dreyer came up representing a guy who all he wanted to do was sue people. Most of the claims uh, were frivolous. Right. But he made millions of dollars doing it. So, you know, when you have a client like that and paying you that much money, you know, I it does rub off on you and you have to act a certain way in order to remain the guy's client. Well, the right Jim, if we just very brief, just we talked about the sealing orders in the past. How many times do we have criminal cases where there's a pr someone who's a stenographer who has their own set of, of uh, transcripts and you have a court that seals? I don't think you have to specifically advise that stenographer that the case is sealed. Once that judge in criminal court or in a civil court says the matter is sealed, it should be sealed. So we shouldn't have to then say, well, you know, reporting company X, Y, and Z, you have to seal that transcript. It's sealed for a reason. That's one of the reasons, as Doug will tell you, that, that people settle cases because there's the benefit of knowing that the case is finished. You're not going to have to relitigate it. It's not going to be out there hurting you down the road. But if it's sealed, where is the Times getting? I mean, I, I think they weren't sealed. I think that it was sealed, and I think that they probably breached that sealing order. But they're, they're pouring through thousands of pages. But well, you they have said the same themselves pages. they went through hundreds and hundreds of pages. Yeah, here of depositions know. to get to what they got. No, to. but no, it wasn't it anyway. You're checking it by computer now. You're looking for keywords. You're going to get them. Well, the more outrageous stuff that comes out about Trump, the more lewd he is, the more disgusting and anti establishment he is, the better it is for him. He's utterly bulletproof no, there, to all of this. There stuff. is a certain point where you, you can't wheel off so many demographics. Um, the Republicans, I know because I, I speak to operatives all the time. They're worried that he will do permanent damage to them with the Latino well, vote, even if he doesn't do, emerge. I mean, here's the thing. The well, that's, a, the that's a political question. Right. I'm just saying there's that. Then there's comments that come out that, that he insults pregnant women and calls them disgusting. And forget the context in it. No one's going to care about that. I mean, this is the world that I live in. And they, right. they'll look at the sound bite. They'll say pregnant woman, breast pump, disgusting, disgusting. Uh, Donald Trump says. So... At a certain point, well, it's going this to be is a used to stigmatize issue. the entire Republican Party. Absolutely. It's being done already. Okay. But how do you stop it? That's not fair either. It's not, but you know what? If you open up this Pandora's box as he does, um, then you reap the whirlwind. Now, I want to talk one more, and this is about Trump as it relates to litigation, and nobody has to follow this to know that he's been involved in so many suits, both where he himself is being sued and also he's brought suits or threatened to at least. But in terms of the history of litigation, Jimmy, I mean, we've talked about, forget about going after companies or, 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 or not paying your bills, which he's known uh, to be infamous for in New York in the construction industry or, or in the d commercial development. But he also, um, he screwed over regular Joes here, uh, whether it's college degrees from Trump University or, or teachers Wait, who saved Trump up their University? life. There's There was, right? Who, who, who were the students of that university? He, he's accused, and there's a lawsuit by, by the attorney general that's, that's coming up to litigation very Trump soon. Trump University. He's accused of running unlicensed schools that essentially taught nothing but charged thousands of dollars a week. You know, there, there are other lawsuits that, that he lent his name to a real estate company in Mexico. People, because of that, invested thousands and thousands of dollars only to find out that none of it existed. Never and got built. Teacher is losing life savings. Well, and there's his the crime of daughter of was of even Shamperty. president. Of this, yeah. There's the crime of champerty, which is when you have a nominal plaintiff and you're the actual party in interest, which he did constantly with with the Indians to block casinos all yep. up and down the East Coast. And, it's literally a crime. And, and in the, from the other side, he sues all the time because he's got the power and in-house counsel when he owes people money. Apparently it's easier to let the contractor sue because the contractor is going to settle because from a financial That's business. Business. Exactly. That's business. That's business. Exactly. That's what happens. Exactly. Except it's the only thing I'll say is it goes from business to if you're trying to be commander in chief and your word How means nothing. How could we even put this man in the same sentence with commander in chief? The do you know why? Do, it's because not right now, it's we're not at the end of possible. July, next week, we've got the first Republican debate and he's clear of the field, some say by as many as 10 points in certain battlegrounds. But this states. is your wheelhouse, and isn't yeah, it somewhat say? true that... I'm moving to Canada if this No, but happens. is yeah. it somewhat true that from a primary perspective, that's one thing, but when you oh, get to the actual I, election... I, I, you know, I don't think he lasts even in the primary, early. but that said, the fact that... 
there's a realization that he's going to stick around longer for this. No and question. the question is, what damage well, will he do to the party? Well, the real thing is if he runs as an independent, that's the disaster. Uh, I don't think at the end of the day he really wants to because he's going to have to spend his own money. money. Um, he's getting free media right now, which means no real cost, but he has no ground game or anything else. This, if this is a story through the balance of the summer into fall, the biggest losers are the National what, Republican Party. What happens Party. to him when this is over as a, as a brand, as a television See, personality? That's for me the question. Yeah. He's already lost The Apprentice right, right yeah. now. He's had advertisers that have stepped away. Right. Uh, distributors, the Macy's and the rest of the world have stepped away. He's lost the, uh, you know, uh, the Miss Universe and the rest. And golf tournaments. And golf tournaments. However, um, do you argue that any attention is good attention for him? I don't know. I still wonder who spends $20 million in his apartment uh, when you have other choices in New York City. Do they still keep moving into the Trump Tower? Uh, this is another man's game. I don't know. But that's the part that I think will be the interesting metric. Yeah. Okay, when we come back, a woman uh, has just died while in police custody. And this time, this has happened closer to home. This in Mount Vernon. Now the state's attorney general is investigating this case. And it will be very closely and widely watched because it is the first time the now attorney general in New York will be involved since changes were made following the death of Eric Garner.